who sends you greetings and a special blessing for this year 2017. And we are going to embark, I believe, on a fresh path with the power and presence of the Holy Spirit. And I wanted just to leave a, a, a brief word from Matthew chapter 17. It says, verse 1, And after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John, and bringeth them up to a high mountain apart. How would you like to be in the inner circle of Jesus? I know I would. I like to be included in fresh encounters. And Jesus had, after six days, a fresh encounter that he wanted his disciples to partake of. I think uh, Peter, James, and John represent faith, hope, and love. And I do know God wants us to experience a fresh encounter with faith, hallelujah, with hope, and with love, he wants to take us to a fresh mountain apart. That means a fresh, higher perspective. Truly, God does make all things new, and I'm glad about that. I need some new things and fresh encounters in my life. And what happened, verse 2 says, and he was transfigured before them, meaning they saw a change, they saw a metamorphosis, and God does in our own heart this year wants to want to bring a change, a transformation. God wants to bring a restoration and a healing to our hearts. Your heart, my heart, we need to be healed from traumas of the past. And the power and the presence of the Spirit of God is able to do that. And behold, what happened? Verse 3 tells us that Moses and Elijah showed up. Glory. That speaks of the law and the prophets showing up. And I believe that the law, listen to what I'm saying, the law that's showing up is the royal law that James talks about of love. So the prophetic and love show up. And then Peter, verse 4, Peter blurts out, hey, this is good. We ought to build three tabernacles. <laughs> well, what then happened is a voice interrupted. And that was the voice of the Father. And I believe in 2017, we're going to have divine interruptions. Glory, hallelujah. A cloud overshadowed them. And we've seen this cloud before. We saw it with Mary. There was a cloud that overshadowed Mary. There was a cloud that showed up in the tabernacle in the temple when Solomon dedicated the temple. Man, that cloud was the glory. Well, that cloud showed up here, and you know what? Peter was interrupted because the disciple needed to see and experience something so that not only could a fresh voice speak, and that voice was the voice of the Father speaking, glory, and we are going to have divine interruptions of glory. And what happened? Yes, Peter, he was divinely interrupted because there was a voice from heaven that needed to be sounded. And Peter actually got the message because his voice became a shadow that did transform a city and brought healing. So this year, 2017, is going to be a year where the kingdom does get manifested within a people. It says in Luke 17, 20, 21, Behold, the kingdom of God is within you. So we're going to experience on a fresh level a divine interruption, the love of the kingdom, and it's going to be a year of a fresh heavenly perspective where God is divinely going to intervene on our behalf. So we just bless you at this season. We know God loves you and wants to bring fresh encounters to you. And here's a fresh encounter right now. Praise God. Part of the phenomena of the transfiguration is not that Jesus became something different and changed into another form, but the glory that he carried with him shone forth through him, just like power shining through a light bulb. And that is the expression of the kingdom of God. We pray this year that you will experience more manifestations of God's glorious kingdom in your life coming into expression, into manifestation as light. The world needs that light. And our prayer is that light will increase within each of us and together shine brightly. Let's pray. Father, 
We just declare a supernatural presence of favor and grace upon each one in this coming year that we will witness, Father, a clarity, a certainty of your indwelling presence and purpose in our life coming forth into full expression that the world may see and know that Christ truly has come and that he is present within our being and that he is the hope of glory within us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. We pray for you a wonderful year of renewal, refreshing, and restoration.